going on youtube and welcome back uncommon sense fam it's your boy uncommon sense here and i want to bring to you guys another first impression slash unboxing of two niche fragrances that i've gotten in my clutches right now i'm foraying more into niche and unheard of and untalked about fragrances i'm not abandoning my designer fragrances but i'm getting over into that niche side of fragrances I invite you guys on that journey with me and we about to get into this thing let's go Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my way Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my, that's my way guys haven't noticed check me out do all three like comment subscribe I want to continue to bring you guys the best content around and I can only do that with your support so make sure that you do all if you're enjoying this video thumbs it up it can only help me grow bring more out of myself as a creator story time my good friend dr. Rose who actually runs the group perfume corner she's been extremely welcoming into her community her and I were having a chat and she's just out of the blue one day was like asking what men's errors don't you have so I went down this list of ones that I don't have and that I want to get because I'm just now foraying into niche fragrances with Mancera being my first she strongly suggested that I hurry up and get one blind bought it after reading the notes and thinking hey this may be dope let me check it out so with that being said Mancera Oud Black Candy. Let's go ahead and open that bad boy up. Ooh. Smells good. Have a look at that. Oud black candy. So it's got that dark or purple like gradient at the top, which fades down into the transparent glass. Screw top. I can smell this even before I've even sprayed it. Dope atomizer on Mancera's Oud black candy. Straight away in the opening, we have that typical rose oud mixture that kind of tones up a little bit plasticky or latexy on my skin however i can smell that sweetness underneath and it's kind of a thick molasses like sweetness kind of like you would smell in ginger snaps or licorice i've also seen comparison the scent of this one to lolita limpica or masculine i had lolita limpica or masculine a while ago and i actually ended up giving that to my nephew it did kind of have that sugary sweetness to it but these types of fragrances perform really well on my skin this one kind of smells like twizzlers there is a host of different candies that this one really smells like. For a blind buy, I really feel like this one is dope. I lucked out because I could have blind bought some trash and been stuck with an expensive bottle of garbage. When you have the gift of fragrance, that's the gift that keeps on giving, right? Yeah, this one is very sweet, but I really enjoy this. And I don't hear a lot of talk about black candy. Being uncommon sense, I felt it only right that I go ahead and go with some fragrances that have not been heavily covered in the fragrance community. If it had been covered, or even if it had been reviewed by 10 million folks, like some of our other more popular Manceras, I'm looking at you, Lemon Oud Mint. I do have a sample coming. We're gonna do an unboxing of that when that gets here. Become available, because I need you in my life. On my skin, when I first spray them on, you get the dark, woodiness to it along with the rose that seems to be prominent in just about every one of their fragrances that i've smelled definitely wouldn't handle it by the cap you know it screws on i wouldn't handle it by the cap because i almost dropped it a second ago let's not do that and that's 
not cool. So yeah, this one starts to tone up very gourmand-like. Think of like the concession stand at the theater when you freshly open up gummy bears. I know in the dry down on most Manceras, they tend to perform amazingly. And the dry down tends to be extremely magical. So we'll wait on the dry down for this one. I feel like the Mancera Oud Black Candy was a hit, especially for a blind buy. So thanks to Dr. Rose Chaperone for encouraging me to jump off into the deep end of niche land with my first purchase of Oud Black Candy. Dr. Rose Chaperone, shout out to you. I love you so very much. That is, again, my guys, if you have not heard it from me, that's my fairy perfume mommy. She has an excellent collection. She has excellent taste. I trust just about any selection or suggestions she sends my way to go ahead and pick it up. Not only does she have good taste, she has expensive taste too. So now we're foraying into the area of uncommon sense where it's gonna be a good mix of at least some cheapies, some fragrances you guys have not heard about, some designers. The second niche fragrance that we're going to unbox and have a first impression of is Alcanjar Banafa for Oud. I don't know what's gonna happen with this fragrance, you guys. But the presentation alone has me intrigued, so let's open it on up. Now, I saw this initially in one of the frag groups. One of my brothers showcased this one, and I immediately instant messaged him and was like, what the hell? What is that? And he told me. This was his scent of the day for EID, Pakistan Holidays. Ain't that beautiful? I'm enamored with the fragrance presentation alone. The box, the bottle. I don't even... I don't even know... I'm speechless. Like, I don't even know what we're going to do about the fragrance. Mm. Oh, there you go. It's on there really good. That's pretty. I love that. I'm a sucker for an uh, interesting bottle and a dope presentation. Spot to get this on. Mm. Oh, that's nice. So this is more of an Arabian or Middle Eastern style fragrance. Al Kanjar. Banafa for Oud. It looks like something straight out of Indiana Jones. Like I'm going to do a sacrifice or something with it. Like, just like. I don't know the notes in this one. But it's interesting. It's woody. It's definitely spicy. And it's a little bit of sweetness in there. It reminds me of a fragrance oil I have called Darbar. That I actually got from a African bookstore. And it's like a small roll on. It does have a little bit of that incense quality and some earthiness about it. It really reminds me of frankincense and myrrh incense along with a little bit of Nag Champa. It's dope. I love it. Even if just for the bottle alone, I think this is well worth it. It cost me, what, maybe 40 bucks wearing this, probably more in the winter and fall. I don't think I'll get much wear out of it this summer. However, the Mancera Oud Black Candy. I can see myself probably pulling this for summer. I really feel like I could pull it at any time. So I feel like in terms of my blind buys, I actually won this round and came up with some uncommon sense. I'm glad you guys came along on this ride with me. If you guys have smelled Mancera's Oud Black Candy, Leave me a comment in the below and let me know what your experience is, what you smell. Do you like the fragrance? Do you hate it? Let's discuss. Also, Banafa for Oud. If you guys have seen or smelled this fragrance, let me know what your experience is. And also, 
just for general conversation. Drop me a line, let me know what's going on. And I feel like now's the time to really be your 100% true authentic self. So that's what I'm doing. I'm being my full colorful self and showing an ode to solidarity within the black and brown community. Black as fuck, can't change, couldn't hide it even if I wanted to. And would those who are rocking with me, I really appreciate it because that's only going to lead us to our destiny and our journey as the universe prepares us to propel forward. I can't do what I do without you guys. So I want to definitely show you guys the love that you've been showing me. So I love you guys with all my heart from the top, bottom and the side and your boy Uncommon Sense and I'm out till next time.